Hi card sharks, welcome to our Hilo Jack tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to play the game Hilo Jack. Here is a deck of cards and how you traditionally deal is three cards at a time around the table. Each player gets six cards. Let's look at the hands that our players were dealt. Player one, player two, player three, and player four. In Hilo Jack, traditionally, each partner is paired with the person that seated every other from them. Let's say this is our person who dealt. The person next to them will bid first. Looking at their cards, they have some good cards, but usually you would want an ace in order to bid. So they would probably say pass, but might have a good helping hand for their partner. Next player, they have two aces, so they can either bid with the ace and four of diamonds or the ace of clubs with the nine and 10. We'll go with the clubs since they have more. They would definitely bid two. They can get high for sure, possibly some low, if there's a two, three, four, whatever is lowest out there, either they're with them or their partner. And certainly they have a chance at game, although there is no jack. Passing on to here, this partner would have to bid higher than a two. They don't really have an opportunity to do so. Let's look at their cards. There's no ace. There are a lot of diamonds. So they're probably hoping that the person that comes in, comes in in diamonds and they can maybe upset them. So they'd say pass. Now here's our dealer. They can either take the bidder for two or say come in. They absolutely will take the bidder for two. They don't have to go any higher than what was already bid. They have a ton of hearts, so they're gonna say that they will take the bid. I'm coming in. So they would come out, you always lead with your highest card, they would lead with the ace. It then goes to the person who is not their partner opposite. Hmm, they have the two and the jack, both point cards. The name of the game is high, low, jack, game. They really don't wanna give up either one of these, but you have to follow suit. So. They probably would give up their two, thinking the jack is higher, maybe in another future round they can be the highest card and get it. So they would go and take their two, and the bidder's pretty happy because they basically just made their bid. They have high and low. Anything else is gravy. Okay, here's their partner. Their partner does not have any hearts, so they can throw any card they want. They would love to load up on some game for their partner, and so they would give their highest card, which is a 10. Any of the cards marked in this deck here are worth points. Those include ace, king, queen, jack, and 10 of any suit, not just the one that was bid. So they're gonna put in this, okay? Last, this person, they don't wanna give up anything. It's not their partner. They actually have no hearts. Otherwise, they would have to follow suit. So they're gonna give the lowest card worth nothing that they can give. They probably go here and give the three. Okay, so that's what the dealer takes in. So they move that off to the side. That's gonna be counting later for points. Rule of high low jack, you always wanna come back if you have something. So repeat in your head that the trump suit for this round is hearts. Come out with your next highest. They're gonna throw the queen goes over here, guess what? They forced the other team to give up a point card. They have no other heart but the jack, so they have to turn it in. So now they've made three, high, low, and jack. Okay, here's their partner. They know that the queen is still the highest, so they can give up some points if they want to add to the game. So they can give up either of the aces. Okay. Now here, this person is not a partner and they don't want to give up anything. So the suit is hearts, they have no hearts. They'll give up the lowest card they have. There we go. Again, dealer takes that in because they have the highest. Okay, they don't have to come back again. They do have two more hearts. Um, they've already gotten high, low, and jack. So they don't have to waste a trump if they don't want to. They might want to just come out with another card. So let's say they come here, they put out their nine of diamonds, goes to the next player, they have no diamonds. 
They're not sure who's going to win this round, so they don't give up really much of anything. Now goes to the partner. They do have a time in, so they have to follow suit. They're going to put that in here. And lastly, it goes here. And guess what? This person can take the round with either the 10 or the king. They're going to go for the most points possible. A 10 is worth 10 points per game. A king is only worth three. So they're going to take it with their 10. And finally, the other team has taken a round. So now, since they took that round, they lead. Uh, the best card they have to come out with, they're going to come out strong with a king. Goes now to the dealer. They do have some trumps. They can always take it with the trump, which is hearts. No matter what's out, trump wins it. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case with the election. Um, and let's see, not really anything great on the board. Let's just give up the two. Okay. Again, diamonds led. They have no diamonds, but this is their partner, and they think he's probably going to take this. So, so let's go and give him something good. Okay. Uh, again, diamonds led. You have to keep repeating that. And they don't have a diamond. This is not their partner. They don't really want to give up anything good. Okay. So King of Diamonds won that round. So it goes into their pile. They have the lead again. Well, Diamonds was good for them. Let's go again. Here we go. Dealer. All they have now is Trump. So that's all they have to give. So they're going to put it out. And basically, unless anyone has higher than a seven of hearts, which is Trump's, they will win this. Nope, no one does, so just give up a card. Same here, this is not your partner, so you don't want to give up a point card. Throw it in, okay. That now goes to the dealer. Last card for the dealer is a trump, so they know pretty much they are going to take this round, and sure enough, no one else has a trump. And so that is it. Okay, so you have your two piles, team one. You're going to organize those and see that you have high, low, and jack, and you're going to count your points for gain. Team two, they're going to count their points and see if they can challenge for gain and see who has the highest. So for those high, low, jack, four points, the dealer got three, and the other one, which is all the gain, we'll add those up and we'll see who has the highest to take that.